Okay, honest question. Do you guys care about unboxing? Unboxings? Anyway, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Marilyn from Teach Marilyn B Style, and I want to do an unboxing today. It's not technically a box, it's a package. Laundry Mountain is real. This is an awkward angle. Yeah, I think I need to pop you up on something else. Give me a second. All right, I'm trying to get a good angle here. Whatever. I have laundry to do. Okay, so like, I kind of want to do an unboxing of something that came in the mail. Moms with young kids, how do you do this? How, like when you still got chores to do and you have kids running around outside who want to keep coming in here screaming or just stand in the hallway screaming. How do you manage all that? That's my question for you. Um, I'm kind of thinking out loud here. Like I want to also do a motivation Monday, even though it's on a Thursday, I don't care, it's fine. Um, as soon as I'm done with my laundry, I will head in there, but that's giving me motivation to get my laundry done, so pray for me. That's a mess, and so we're gonna do this today. Boom, can't see nothing. I kind of wanna put this on. Welcome to my Vlogmas. Just kidding, I'm not doing that. All of you who are doing Vlogmas this year, kudos to you, you're amazing, and I'm watching. So look out for my comments, look out for all my likes. Hold up. I need some more coffee, hold on. It's kind of good timing because there's a siren right now, so. I want to do an unboxing today. It's not technically a box, it's a package, but it is from VIP Kid. There he is. Here's Dino. If you're not a VIP Kid teacher, then you might not know who this is, but if you are, then you're like, duh, I know who Dino is. Um, he is like in his cutest stage right now. Like he's gotten cuter and cuter over the years. So I'm attending Virtual Journey. So I am actually going to be opening this up with y'all so that I can see what the swag is. And honestly, I kind of already know what it is because everybody already posted it. And I also had to wait a really long time. Like this did not come until about a week after I first saw people revealing what was in it. So I was like, all right, I know what I'm getting, it's fine. But I wanna show you because you might not know, you might not be going to Virtual Journey. So those, for those of you who don't know, I am a VIP kid and out school teacher. And this year, VIP Kid Journey, which is their like big conference where all the teachers come in from all over the country um, and from different countries to meet together face to face and hang out. And this year it was supposed to be in March, I was so excited it was supposed to be here in Atlanta. And I grabbed my ticket within the first eight seconds when they listed them last year. And then obviously it got canceled because of the global pandemic and I cried. I was really sad because there were so many people that I was looking forward to meeting in person. A big part of what keeps me going with VIP Kid is the community, like especially the Instagram community. There's just something about it that is so much more uplifting and wonderful. All right, so this Motivation Monday, coming to you on a Thursday, is um, going to be combined with the unboxing of my VIP Kid Journey virtual journey swag. <coughs> My throat's just dry. Hold up, I'm gonna use some of this. If you guys follow me on Insta, you guys know that I use this product. It's Vocalese. I actually do have a discount code. This stuff is legit and it works. It's all natural, it tastes like marshmallows. It's got Manuka honey. Anyway, you can read about it on their website. You can use my discount code, you can check it out. They are legit. They're also, I think they have a website but their stuff is all on Amazon as well. And it's amazing, they sent me a whole little care package which was just lovely for November. Where was I? Oh my gosh, I'm losing track of my stuff because I drank the coffee and now I wanna do all the things. Okay, so I'm gonna open up my swag for Virtual Journey, which is happening this Saturday, December 5th, um, 2020. And so we're doing a virtual journey, which I'm not quite sure how it's gonna go. It's not exactly like Zoom. Maybe I think it's gonna be similar because there's gonna be like big sessions and then small breakout rooms. Um, but I feel like I should get my VIP kid jacket on because y'all know I got my sixth contract hoodie, right? Um, so in the VIP kid world, when you sign your sixth contract, which means you've been with the company for three years, you get a sixth contract hoodie. Well, you get, I had to order and purchase it myself, but I said, you know what? This was an accomplishment and I'm buying it. 
I don't care. I think for the first few years, people got them for free. It has this cool, like, extra zipper feature. It's got a VIP kit on the arm. It has pockets. Oh, zipper pockets. Hello. Dino on the back. Let me go ahead and start opening this. Virtual journey is this Saturday. All right. I'm already seeing what I knew I was going to get. So cute. Dino socks. Love, love, love. These are adorable. And I love how long they are. They're like legit crew socks. I will be putting these on because y'all know my feet get cold. For Motivation Monday, what I actually wanted to do was talk about starting something new. Um, and I don't just mean anything. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Okay, show your dino family spirit. Find your assigned team, dress up in your team's color for journey and wear your pin. Post a selfie posing with your assigned pin on social media, hashtag virtually VIP kid. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, how fun. Look at these pins. I love these. VIP kid, you have done it. I love this. So fun. Okay, so this is a swag. According to this, I am June through August. I am team dino. So I'm on the yellow team. Yeah, OG. I'm with team dino. I mean, look at him. He's freaking cute. I should wear my other journey pin that Lauren sent me from last year. I got the pins and the socks. So fun. So for Motivation Monday, what I want to talk about is to just start. Just start. Sometimes there's something that you want to do, like a goal that you have. Oh wait, I'm not done. Mm, there's more. A little laptop sticker. Oh my gosh, look how cute Dino is. Stop. Oh my gosh, I love him. Hi. I feel like sometimes we set goals that we know we can reach, but then we get overwhelmed with like life or all the steps or all the things that you have to do in order to reach said goal. For me, there are two things actually that I'm going to just start this week. The first one is I'm finally going to list my first out school class. Y'all, I have been like hashtagging that and talking about that I'm an out school teacher, but I haven't actually taught a class yet. And my referring teacher is my friend Leslie. And she's like, girl, you just got to teach your first class. Just do it and it'll be over. And then you'll see what it's like and you'll decide if you want to teach more or not. And you'll see how much money you earn compared to VIP Kid and you'll probably switch over, which so many VIP Kid te teachers did, for better or for worse. That's a different conversation. But because um, the teaching style is obviously different, it's not, it's not the VIP Kid way. It's out school. It's a different conversation. So anyway, I'm going to list my very first out school class. I want to just do a one-time class. <sighs> like I might list it like three different times within the next couple weeks. And my idea is to do a calligraphy class with Crayola markers. So um, yeah, so that's it. I mean, it's a really super simple, like, you know, beginner class for, I don't know, like anywhere from nine, nine to 12 year olds. I think that would be good because I feel like playing with Crayola markers, that might be, it might seem a little kiddish to teenagers. Um, and then I might open up sections later for older kids if there's interest there. If you don't know, I have a calligraphy page on Instagram if you wanna follow me over there. I'm not as active on there as I would like to be, um, but I did buy myself a, a brand new iPad for my birthday when I got birthday money, and my in-laws got me an Apple Pencil, so like I've been wanting to take this more seriously, and I feel like listing this class is gonna help me be more consistent and plan to hand letter the way that I really want to. So that's the first thing that I'm just going to start. And I am nervous about it, but sometimes you have to just do things nervous. Like you have to do it scared because um, otherwise you just won't do it. You'll find excuses forever, right? Like it has been months since I got approved on OutSchool. Like you can go and see my like, I applied to OutSchool y'all videos one and two and like when I posted them. And like it was like oh, last spring, summer-ish but it's been months and I haven't done it at all. I'm finally ready <laughs> and I'm gonna be talking Leslie's ear off to like get her info because she she has taught a lot of different kinds of classes and like knows how to gear classes towards certain learners. Um, so she's a great coach. I definitely recommend asking her to refer you if you're interested. I'll put her link below because I actually think that would be great. You can even join our Facebook group. I'll link to the video that I made for us. Is it here? Shoot. It's here, right? So join the Facebook group and you can ask any questions about OutSchool there. Um, the other three teachers that I work with in our Facebook group are amazing OutSchool teachers. They're actually making like way more money with OutSchool than they ever did with VIP Kid for less work. 
I mean, not less work, but less hours teaching. You do have to do the work of creating the class, so I think that's why you can charge more. But um, And they do take a 30% pay cut, but if you price your classes right, you'll still be making more money. I know a lot of teachers that are doing really well there. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do that this week. I'm gonna open some sections for next week and the following and see how that goes, and then maybe work on creating an ongoing class with calligraphy practice. Um, <sighs> which I'm like, I don't know, why am I so nervous about it? It's like, I guess because I'm putting myself out there, like this is something I'm actually really passionate about and have feelings about. And so if I get rejected or like people don't sign up, it's gonna mess me up. It really shouldn't, right though? Because like our work doesn't really define us. So that's number one. The second thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open an Etsy shop. I have wanted to open an Etsy shop. I already created a page for it. It's called Teacher's Greetings. It has no listings because I, it's that stupid perfectionism trap that like, if it doesn't look the way I want it to, I don't want to do it. But that has caused me to tarry and just wait for like three months. And that's so stupid. Like it's a roadblock and I am scared to do it because as soon as I get over the few little hurdles that I actually have to do in order to open it, then it's for real. And people can either buy my products or not buy my products. And that, you know, like that's going to determine... Huh, that's gonna determine whether or not the shop does well. And I even have like two courses that really good friends of mine have created that they allowed me to pilot. One of them was Angela Silva's course. It's the Teacher Career Academy where she talks teachers through using skill sets that you already have to create a business idea. She invited me to pilot her program and go through all of it so that I could give her feedback and allow her to refine it when she relaunched it, which she already did. So um, I think that is now in its second round and she's doing amazing. She's such a boss and I'm like so inspired by her. And then the other one is actually somebody she interviews in her course, Dana Johnson. She has an open, how to open an Etsy shop course, like for beginners, it walks you through every step. And I consumed that course so quick that I was like, I have to do everything and I have to do it now. And instead of going step by step and saying like, okay, I'm gonna do this one thing, check and then move on. Like I watched all of the videos and um, became totally overwhelmed and paralyzed. Uh, and so I'm ready. I'm ready now to take the very next step and just do the next right thing. So now I'm quoting Frozen 2. Anyways, I, um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that even though I feel totally scared to do so because sometimes you just have to start. So I'm putting it out there. I'm saying these things out loud because it's important for me to do so. Like Dino wasn't this cute in a day, you know, like he went through a lot of different, I'll put right here, like like what he used to look like. He was a little scary. Um, he actually started as a cat. So there's that. Um, like one of the prototype characters was a cat and now he's got a whole family and, and they're adorable. Like who wouldn't want this family in pin form? I do. Like, look at them. They're freaking cute. Anyways, if Rome wasn't built in a day and Dino wasn't this cute in a day, surely I can take the very next right step in both of those ways. So um, wish me luck. Send the prayers. I appreciate all of it. And tell me what you are going to just start this week. What is, what is the goal that you have in place and what is the one step you need to take. All right, you guys, I hope that this was a motivating and encouraging video for you. If so, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh my gosh, I have to go pick up my kids. Okay, bye. And yes, I did get my laundry done. Like I actually did. I promise, it's not put away. Okay, whatever, I gotta go. Bye friends.